and a fine Saturday night to all you out there in the dark. I hope you're all feeling swell. How can you not with the date of the 31st creeping closer? Deeper in we go as the clock ticks down. Can you feel that shift, that growing pressure, the change in the very air we breathe, like a storm on the horizon, rumbling, building power and size with each and every passing moment before it arrives. I know, I'm excited too, but on to business first. In the news, a break in the case involving the group of teenagers who went missing at the abandoned jailhouse. This morning, around 1am, one of the teens returned to their home covered in blood and speaking a mix of incoherent gibberish and ancient Sumerian. Ravings of a demon invasion seemed to be the only response the teen could give before collapsing from exhaustion. <laughs> Kids these days are very imaginative. I assure you all in the audience, there is no such invasion. Everything is perfectly fine. Speaking of fine, some fine threads is what you could be wearing this Halloween if you enter our raffle. That's right, three of you will win a lovely t-shirt and first place gets a free commission from my friend Raven, the art bird. The game is simple. Simply post over here on Twitter or down below, I'm in. And you are in the running for some fabulous prizes. So what are you waiting for? Ah, the sounds of adoring fans. It's what fuels me, ladies and gentlemen. It's not even nine o'clock, and this lady, walking ahead of me with her son, turns back to glance at me. Her son, who looks like he can't be older than thirteen, turns as well. I'm black, wearing my hoodie and comfortable sweatpants. Not all that intimidating, but they speed up walking faster down the street. It's a residential neighborhood, less lights. I understand, but really? Rolling my eyes, I just shove my hands in my pockets and keep walking. There's a grocery store on the main street. I just wanted some water and yogurt. The lady isn't walking that fast. But she turns around again, face worried. <sighs> Miss, don't nobody want you. So, I stop completely and wait. I shouldn't have to do this, but I do. I shuffle a bit in place, then feel like an idiot for letting them go ahead. I bet someone in their house was getting a kick out of this. I glance back for myself. Behind me was the big form of some bulky man. He stood only a few feet away. He was tall, dressed in black with broad shoulders. He too had a hoodie on, one that hid his face. I froze unable to speak past the lump in my throat. Something silver glinted in his hand. That lady, she wasn't running from me. Well, that'll conclude another episode. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll see you again really soon.